Hey guys, welcome back to the next video. This time we're looking at the JF200. Now, I will be recording how the noise is at 100% fan speed. I have got some thermals and we will also have a, an actual look of the overall quality. So make sure you continue to watch. Okay, right, you've seen the bench, you've seen the overall thermals. Now what we're gonna do is do this in real time as I am going to sket. What I'm gonna get is MSI up now. And, right, so this is what it sounds like at 50%. Barely noticeable, not noticeable. I can barely, I can just barely hear it. So what we'll do, because it's running at six hundred RPM. So now listen to this when it ramps up. Yeah. So yeah, that is the overall sound. Now let's put it back down. Put the fifty percent. Oof. <laughs> so that's the overall actual test. Now what we'll do is get back into the rest of the video. Okay then, so you've had the thermals, you've had a hear or what, it actually sounds like 100%. Now, the overall quality of the cooler is, is not bad. It's better than the previous Joy Shark coolers I've had because this is a bigger and it's more of a higher end option from Joy Shark. Now, it is similar to the PLS Assassin, very similar, except it does have the RGB at the top of here with tempered glass covers on top now yes the fans do go to 1500 rpm yes they are they are noticeable you can hear them when it comes to the overall compatibility it is am4 compatible and luckily with am5 it does include the back plate that supports am4 so at least you can transfer this if you did buy it and you wanted to upgrade your motherboard or the cpu at least it would work uh, the overall um when it comes to the thermals, thermals 8 bar at all, and I honestly think it's a very good air cooler. Now, when it comes to my decision for actually deciding if this cooler is good or if it's not, I overall go with performance, noise, and as well as aesthetics. Now, aesthetically pleasing, it is very. I really do love the overall look. Now, I'm a big RGB guy. I love my RGB. And personally, 
when it comes to RGB. I'm, very, I'm a little bit biased because I love anything that's RGB. But when it comes to the overall performance, the performance is there. It does have a 260 watt TDP. So initially high-end Intel CPUs. But of course there's going to be... You know, obviously they don't sell this in the UK. They only sell it on like AliExpress, which you can buy it. Make sure to put the price right by here. Now, when it comes to the overall um, loudness of it, I'm not fond of loud air coolers. I've said that in my loads of the uh, thermal right reviews because I've got very good, well, I've got good hearing, but I've got very sensitive hearing. So my ears is very sensitive to very loud noises so when it starts creeping up and as you heard you can hear it at 1500 rpm and to be honest it would drive me mad and that's why i went to wear uh, water cooling when it comes to my main system that i do editing on because there's less fans so less noise overall it look it gets a thumbs up from me i honestly think it's a very good product and it is in between when it comes to the price range of the thermal right pillar assassin and the AK, uh, was it 620 or 640 from Deep Cool? It's in between that price, and I will be doing a roundup video to between 25 and 35 pounds because I've got a lot of air coolers that are around that price range, and I will be doing a full group up video for them to say to round up to see which one is the best for your money and which one performs at the best price. So as always, I hope you guys had, had a fantastic day. Do not forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. And as always, this is Richard Webster. Goodbye.